What's up guys, it's me, Darkness Midas, and I'm again playing Alan Wake. In the last episode, we met the kidnapper, and who... We went, and he taught us how to use flares, but he was a very terrible shot at killing Taken. But it seems that we don't get in the manuscript, which Alan does not know of. He's gonna hurt Alice, and we gotta stop him. So yeah, let's continue to try to find that jerk before he does something bad that he's gonna regret. Pick up what? Alright, whatever. Continuing. Burp. Burp. I heard the plane fall. It made no sense. It was clear. Where did that just fall? Where did the plane come from? Obviously, it hadn't formed in decades. Looking at it, Jeez. it should have been. What? What was that? Let's go. Hmm. There's something this way. I don't see any yellow paint though. Where this way? Okay. I don't see anything anymore. Go this way. Well, I don't see any paint. Wait, wait. No, it's not paint. Wait, no. Oh well, something I'm not gonna eat because I can't figure it out. I'm not gonna stand around the whole time trying to figure it out. So let's continue. Also, yes, this is dark blood. If you run into this, it will hurt. Anything in there? Nope. Um, where am I supposed to go? This way? Uh, uh, nope. It said to make it through the woods and go over here, but it's not going anywhere. <laughs> Whatever. I guess I'll go back over here. I don't want I don't know what the point it is though. Can I go down here? That made me feel great. Well it's telling me to go up here, so I guess I can see what's up here if I can even go back up here anymore. Can I? No, I can't. Okay, whatever. I guess I'm going down this way now. Alright, there we go. Another thing works. Oh, hello. Flares up! That didn't sound good. That didn't sound good. Okay, pick up! Jerk! Flare! Who's that? Start it up! There we go. Woohoo! Jeez! Okay. Let's go. Continue. What? It's a river. Oh boy. Oh, thank goodness it stopped. Oof. Oh goodness! Jerk! Don't do that! I was talking to you. Wow, that was nice. Yeah, put me in the face, jerk. Alright, whatever. Oh, crack the neck. Can't go in there. Let's go up here. Du, 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 du. Oh, my head hurts a little bit. Oh, 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 oh. Go, 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 go. Woo! Uh, yeesh. Startled me a bit. Uh-oh. I'll see you. 
revolver ammo. I'll take that. Okay. Two more to go. Alright. What's in here? Nothing too ridiculous though, we got a manuscript. Deputies at the log The site was a mess. The modular office had been pushed off the cliff. Deputy Thornton climbed up from the wreckage of the side, breathing hard in the exertion. Nobody there. It's weird. Don't you think that's weird? Or the moment of another mighty sword. Hell, it's always weird, Thornton. Just a question of sorting out what kind of weird it is this time around. I don't know what those guys are talking about, but whatever. Whatever. Continuing. Do 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 do. Kick this. Uh. There we go. What's this thing come up here? Jump! There we go. Play manuscript page. When Barry and the Elder was attacked, the visitor center. It made him a believer. Ugh. And then the Al said he'd shot. They hadn't been just locals on the crack. Yeesh. Somehow the world had changed. Like the channel of the switch without warning. You think you're watching a sitcom, and you're really watching a horror show. When the birds started attacking the cabin, Barry wasn't surprised. Just terrified. I'd be terrified too if, like, birds started going to the to the windows. Wouldn't that be funny if a bird just started coming in and you just hear that song? And then you whack right at the window. It's like, well, at least the song is good. Oh! Hi. That was nice. Scared me. Alright. Let's go. We went to a log, you know? Did you see beware of little makers? Hi. Okay. I didn't mean to do that, Oh, right, the kneecap. That was a one shot. That's gotta hurt. There's a thing here. I'm supposed to get through it. Well. Okay, I'm stuck. Eh, there we go. What's in here? Saw a manuscript page. Alright. Ouch. What's in here? Wake feels the dark presence. Shadow stirred and the wind picked up as I ran through the forest. I felt the dark presence turn its gaze toward me. Then the moonlight was blotted out by dark shadows that raced abominably across the ground, moving too swiftly to be natural. Darkness gathered between the trees, and no one began to reveal the taken. No natural path to blow up the air. Well, that sucks. Come on now, I can get up. I'm pretty sure you can figure out how to like Mario your way over there. Alright, whatever. What is that? Now what? To hop on this barrel? How do we make it over? Push it? Nope. Oh. Can't believe I didn't even notice this. Come on. Bats. Emergency caves, batteries, revolver ammo, full lights. Oh! Buddy, no one shot your leg again. No, but I can get your crotch. That's even worse. Wait a minute. Is there someone else? Okay, good. Alright. A little more emergency box. Yay! Pick up, pick up, oh, I still look for that. I can get more flares though. Yay! What about this? Can I open this? Yay, I can. Happy, happy. 
Check the woman's room. No, there doesn't seem to be anything in there. Okay, good. Let's check the men's room. Garage keys, good. What? A story is not a machine that does what you tell it. A story is a beast with life of its own. You can create it, shape it, but as the story grows, it starts wanting things of its own. Change one thing and you set off a chain reaction of events that spreads the whole thing. The characters have to be true to themselves. The events need to follow a logic that fits the story. A single flaw and the magic is gone. The story dies. Alice dies. Whoa! Jeez, that guy wanted me to get out of there. He must have been taking a nasty. Got the keys. Let's open this up. Lock it. Alright. Alright. We got us a truck, guys. Room of room. Close the lights. You suck. Yes, now let's get to Barry. Well, we run over some tanking on the way there. Alright, I'll take a detour. Woo! Ow. Oh, I don't know. Ouch. Ouch. Oh, great. I'm gonna take another detour. Ramp! Yeah! Yeah, that's right. Take out your knee. Sorry guys, I wasn't paying attention to the time. It looks like I'm gonna have to wrap it up right here. I'm sorry, and we're already driving and it makes stuff get good. But this has been me, Dr. Smidus. We're in a truck and it seems there are a lot of birds outside next to Barry. I don't know why. But it looks like we gotta head over there and help him. So in the next video guys, we're gonna go help Barry. Catch you next time.